Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time we're going to be playing with a Zodiac Hand Loop deck. Now, all credit to the combo being used in this video goes to D-Summon. I'll be leaving a link to his video in the description of this video itself, where he basically took the new monster that Konami spoiled for us as a TCG exclusive, see Monster Theseus, and put it in the Zodiac Beast deck using the Predator Plant stuff, to basically make a one card combo that hand loops your opponent for three using X Saber Gotham's as well as Cyframe Lord Omega. Now, it is a one card combo, well, technically two, but it is a one card combo in the form of Preda Plant Scorpio and any monster. That's all you need for this combo to work. This basically takes the place of Terra Top, and what you do is you use this to summon your Cobra, and Cobra searches instant fusion, and you instant fusion for Sea Monster of the Seas. Now, basically what this does is it allows you to loop your opponent for three cards while doing Zodiac Beast plays, and ultimately, it's just an incredibly consistent hand loop. Now, unfortunately, it is not something, well, fortunately, depending on your outlook, but unfortunately, it's not something that's going to be legal to us, at least until Maximum Crisis hits, because it does require the play of Zodiac Laika, the newest Xyz coming out in Maximum Crisis for this uh, for this theme, alongside uh, Hammer Kong. It requires... Laika for this combo to work because this special summons a Zodiac from your graveyard to be used as a synchro material, so that's very important. And so, based off whether or not anything happens to Zodiac Beast Molmorat, or excuse me, Rat Pierre, as its confirmed TCG name is, uh, basically that dictates whether or not this combo is going to be anything we need to worry about when Maximum Crisis comes out. But if this is all legal post Maximum Crisis's release date, this could be something that's very actually defining because three card hand loops are actually just something that's always existed in like boogeymen of certain formats. We had the wind up loop, we've had, you know, X Sabres being a very competitive deck that could infinitely hand loop your opponent based off the hand and the game situation. There's there's so many different like aspects. We had the Gishki hand loop, the Gishki Hieratic hand loop, we had Gishki FTK. There's so many different, like, there's the Synchro Fusionist hand loop. There's always decks that abuse hand looping in Yu-Gi-Oh, and this looks like it could very well be the next one. And you don't even lose resources doing so, which is the strange thing. You still end with a Zodiac Drancia, and you end with a board, and you end with cards in hand. So it's like, it's, in, it's incredibly, uh, like, free how you do this. And it's ultimately just something that is very abusable, potentially, once we get Maximum Crisis released to us. This will not be something that goes on in the OCG, because of this TCG exclusive being the thing that makes this possible. But anyway, enough rambling on, I'm going to be going and doing some gameplay with this deck, and I will be basically doing it on the Checkmate server against randoms, because if the hand loop is successful, I don't expect people to be sticking around very long. So, ultimately, we will see how that goes. But let's just jump straight into the first game and see how this basically functions. Alright, so the biggest obstacle is getting to go first or not, and we've gotten over that obstacle, and we've got Lone Fire! Multiple Lone Fires, in fact, so we definitely have access to the combo, so even though you can only use Darling Cobra's effect once per duel, it's so inherently consistent because of the fact that you have access to Triple Lone Fire alongside Triple Scorpio. You have six starter cards that allow you to search your instant fusion and go into a rank 3. So it's absolutely ridiculously consistent in terms of what it allows you to do. And it's just inherently very powerful. Even if you've already used Darling Cobra's once per duel search effect, it's still a way to make MX Saber Invoker like later in the game after you've emeralded back all of your resources. Like it's very it's very simple. So I don't think that it's actually uh, actually something that's a huge problem in terms of like not being able to get the search because you usually do end up with a lot of extra resources anyway in terms of extra cards in hand or whatever uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this this basically starts the same way any Zodiac Beast play you would ever expect uh, goes and so you put the Leica on top of the Wild Bow and then you activate your instant fusion for the Sea Monster the Sea Man, the Sea Monster Man, the Monster Bash and so, from here, the Leica gets to bring back the Momorat that's in your graveyard, and it can't be used as an Xyz material, so you're going to Synchro with it. It's pretty, it's pretty clear cut and simple, when you actually take the time to, to understand how it works. And this is an X Saber! Like, ridiculous. An X Saber is already part of our regular combo string. Like, that's, that's, that's insane. A Laster, okay. And now we get to Gotham's for another card. Vanity's Emptiness. Alright, my man. 
And so now what we get to do is we get to go into Bullhorn, and Bullhorn is going to search for TG Warwolf, and then off of that we're going to be able to uh, we're going to be able to go into Tigris and uh, and summon our stuff. So we're going to hand loot for three, and then have Twin Twister and D Barrier. So this is really this is just really strong because you end you still end up with three extra cards in your hand that you have not used. Uh, so ultimately it's just really uh, really powerful because you get information, which is very important. Information is always incredibly key in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh! like in play structuring. Like information has always been the highest premium of what you can get. But the Warwolf Special Summons itself here. And then you make Digusto Emerald. And off of the Emerald, you use its secondary effect to revive a non-effect monster. Because this guy has no effect! <laughs> this is insane. This is ridiculous. Hand loops. I've used uh, I've used nine of my extra deck cards, um, and there's nothing banished, so there's no point in waiting. Uh, Wonder Wand. So now he has two cards, and honestly, if I had room for a Hammer Kong in this list, I definitely think I should be playing it, just because it's another Zodiac name. Probably would cut like the Gaga Samurai or the Dweller. More likely, probably the Samurai, just because. This game can play and win games of, uh, of attrition, basically. But look at this. I'm at five cards and my opponent's at three. <laughs> this is this is dumb. Like, instead of instead of going, like, plus three or plus four, like normal Zodiac Beast turn ones with, like, Giant Trainer and stuff like that, you just minus your opponent by three. So that's pretty neat. Uh, so at this point, uh, based off what happens here... Ah, really? Setting one and passing, you say? Well, I'm going to go ahead and do this because I know that this deck plays could play Artifacts, because Eidolon Artifacts is a pretty popular deck. Hey, hey! And so, since it was still your turn, it does not summon itself. And so now, at this point, now the Omega comes back, which I can use to attack with, and then just take a card at the end of the uh, of the nonsense. But So we're going to use this, which we can just use to restart the Molmorat nonsense, because I can put back Molmorat, Molmorat, and uh, where's Tigris? Where is it? Is it still under? The Drancia? It is. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's no good. Um, but so I can put back like, Momorat, Momorat, and I think it's still fine because I can put back Bullhorn, yeah? I think so. Could be wrong. I don't know. We'll put back Bullhorn. Um, because I can put Bullhorn on top of this, I could search rat. And then, uh, based off what card I draw, it would be... Ah, Thoroughblade. Well, yeah, absolutely. Um, sure. We'll go for that. Uh, so I can put Bullhorn on top of this. And I can search for Viper. Um, based off what goes on here. So, yeah, he has no Elaster, and he has no... He has the Emptiness back in his hand, and honestly, if I take anything different with this Omega, it's gonna be absolutely in my advantage here. So I'm definitely going to try and get another I am really hoping that something like this is not legal uh, when maximum crisis comes out to us I hope something happens to rat by then and basically I hope things change um, okay so from here I can just get the Scorpios out of the deck so yeah we'll start with the lone fire just because it seems a little bit stronger um, in terms of deck thing but so we'll get Scorpio and we'll do this so I've opened the combo again and this time I've got it backed up by a max C as well so like that's that's also inherently very good. Um, so, get the Cobra. Now, there's two Cobras in this deck because you need it for the combo. So, if you draw one, you definitely don't want to be uh, left high and dry without that. Uh, so, let's see. What is happening here in terms of what is his response window that he's been given? Um, I'm really actually curious and scared. Now, the thing is that even without the hand loop, this is really strong anyway. If you open something like Lone Fire and Rat like I've done here because you could just make any rank three of your choosing and then instant fusion Norton the rat back. Um, so like there's there's that sort of little interaction there as well, but at this point I can't really commit to something like that because if I did, then I would be getting rid of, uh, of the rat in my hand and I can't bring it back. Um, I, I can't summon it from the graveyard off of anything but Leica and Leica is already very mandatory for a certain part of the combo. So there is that. But so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to summon Wild Bow, and basically, I almost feel like, I don't know what he has. It's giving him response windows in the weirdest time frames, 
based off what I know in terms of competitive hand traps that exist, so it's really odd uh, that it's showing me, unless he's just holding down A to annoy me at this point, which, I mean, honestly is probably a very valid strategy, a very valid thing that could be occurring, um, is that he's probably just trying to irritate me, which, I mean, is definitely, definitely something that could be going on. Uh, but, so where is the, uh, Leica? That is the next step. So I'm just gonna loop three cards out of his hand. It's, it's very simple. At some point, I'm gonna start seeing cards, whether or not you want me to, or not. And so, that is gonna be the point at which we, uh, we see what's going on. And so, I can't see someone with this. I love how its effect is negated, so that way you can literally never forget, uh, because of the fact that it's got this big ding on it. Um, or is its effect even negated? Yeah, its effect is negated. I was wondering if that was just something that they added um, just to be a huge signification of can't exceed someone with it, but that would actually just kind of be cheating. That would be really like unfair um, in terms of if that was something that was going on like that. But so, all right, let's start getting some information about what's in this guy's hand. A TG Warwolf. That was the response window it was giving. All right, I see. Uh, oh, he's playing Madolche. Oh, that's so unfortunate for him. Um, the fact that he's playing that, whereas I'm playing this deck. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, get the Molmerat Engrave, and put it under the Tigris, and then I'm going to go straight into the Bullhorn, that way I can put the Tigris Engrave. That was the mistake I made, uh, last game, was that, oh fuck, this is the mistake I'm making this game. Oh well, it doesn't matter, the player surrendered, but I went to special summon the Molmerat first, when I was supposed to add the Warwolf first, so unfortunately that would have been a little bit of a technical play error. I mean, it wouldn't have been too detrimental. I still would have ended with Drontia and an Emerald shuffling back cards, and I have Maxi and a Kaiju in hand, so it definitely wouldn't have been too bad. But it definitely just takes away from the uh, from the amount of play that I'm able to do. But so I'm just gonna go and get one more game just to just to see if I can open this again. How do you get your name to be blank? I'm so confused. I don't know how that one's going on. But come on. Yes! Get to go first again. Do I open one of my six ofs? I do! Oh man, time to combo. Time to time to do the one card, three card hand loop. Uh, basically. It's, it's literally just one specific card. And then one out of the rest of the half of your deck. <laughs> it's so easy. It's so free. I'm so sad. I hope this doesn't exist for us. I literally hope not, because this is going to be a huge hugely detrimental thing like hand traps would have to be so so mandatory both max seas things like flying seas stuff like that it would just have to be it would be very very bad in terms of what it would uh what it would be in terms of accessibility for the player base that are trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh! because it would be you play these cards and you better draw them or else you're going to lose to your opponent opening a six of <laughs> or it's not even a six of like Terra Top plus Instant Fusion is still another two card combo. It's a more specific, yes, but it still exists. So like, it's definitely not something that's too out of the stretch of imagination as uh, as something that's possible. Is uh, is you can just open Terra Top Instant Fusion without doing the Predator Plant nonsense, and this is still possible. <laughs> so I mean, hey, might as well hope for the best, right? Because Hoping is all we can do at this point, because I don't want to be dealing with this. I do not want to be dealing with this in uh, in X number of months. All right, Dark Hole's gone, and now let's see what else is gone. Limiter removal. All right, I don't know what you're playing, but I ain't playing. I'm taking your hand, not your whole hand, just some of it. Apparently, the tastiest part of it, because Dark Hole and Limiter removal are two what I would consider blowout cards. Um, and so, basically, uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of letting that happen. So, activate to search first. Yes, there we go. I wish that prompt actually came up first. That way it would be so easy to just not misplay on, on online dueling platforms. Listen to me. I was like, I wish that I couldn't misplay. Well, even here, because I've got the Elemental Triangle, it's impossible for me to not get this Warwolf summoned anyway. Because I could just Elemental Triangle a monster onto the board. And then that would be uh, that would be easy. That would be that. But so uh, Warwolf here, and then Emerald. The one thing I do not like about this is the fact that Emerald doesn't reset your resource pool. It just allows you to make an Omega. And that's one thing I do not like. However, 
I can respect the fact that if my opponent's not allowed to play Yu-Gi-Oh because he's down half of his hand, then in theory, it should be really good for me regardless. Because in theory, Ancient Gear, Hunting Hound. All right. Uh, in theory, in theory, right? It should be fine for me because in theory, uh, I won't need to reset the resource pool if my opponent can't play. That's the thought. Uh, I'm just doing this so that I get more uh, cards under the uh, Drancia, as well as the Viper just chilling here. The, Dran the Viper can go under Drancia as well, but I end with five cards and my opponent is now at three. So, like, hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I am, uh, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm lying, I am a fan. I'm a fan of the applications that uh, Scorpio and Cobra provide for the game, but holy shit. Like I said, I hope that this isn't something that we're having to deal with come Maximum Crisis' release, because this is going to be one hell of a national season if it's hand loop format again. Like, wow, look at this, it's 2012 all over again. Drop your hand for free! Um, yeah, see? He surrendered. So, like, it's just so hard to play when you're down three cards. It's just so hard. Most decks take so many cards to operate. Zodiacs is literally like the outlying deck that can literally make a play off one card. And so, like, that's that's the big thing. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. And like I said, I will leave a link to D-Summon's video showing the combo in the description if you want to go check that out. Even though you have just seen it like two to three times on this video. If you still want to check that out, then definitely go for it. But other than that, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you're, uh, if you're as hesitant to accept this as I am, as far as uh, for our national season definitely let me know but other than that as always guys like comment subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do links are in the description to my patreon page if you want to back me there as well as my facebook pages and stuff like that use any of those links as resources to do whatever you would like to do just keep it classy but other than that i mentioned a patreon link if you want to back me on patreon and support me directly you can definitely do so any amount between a dollar to the largest amount that i have on there as a reward setting is 100 percent acceptable and I have internal gratitude for you if it's something that you're able to go out of your way to do to support me directly. It invests in my ability to keep making content, shows that you believe in my ability to make content and find my content entertaining enough to actually support directly to try and improve and make it better going forward. So you'd have my deepest thanks and it also enters you into a monthly giveaway that's directly linked to that Patreon page. So if you want to go get details on that, you can definitely do so. But other than that, that's it for this video. As I may have already said, thanks for watching. Thank you for your time as usual. Let me know what you guys think again in the comments down below and I will see you next time. Take care guys.